Hello, welcome to my South PC TV. Today I'm talking about the Intel NUC again. This is part two. Part two, obviously, because I had to wait and get my Wi Fi card and what else I had to get? Um, blah, blah, blah. My cable, my C5 cable, and I had to get um, a what you call it, a converter. I didn't really need a converter, I could have just done, um, I could have put Windows 8 or 7 on a um, a USB stick and done it that way but I decided to get like a little SD card uh, thing and then do it that way <laughs> yeah in my hand I have M M SATA M SATA to normal SATA and it's basically a little solid state hard drive size and it's a little converter so you've got the bottom there oh that's the back, front, and then we've got that bit here, which is where the M SATA little solid state hard drive goes in there. So you would put your solid state hard drive there. In fact, yeah, what I'll do is I'll show you when that makes sense. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, there we go. So that would connect in here. So it would connect it like that if I can get it in there. Uh, get it in there. No, I can't get it in there. Oh, hang on, look, sorry. You've got to put it in like that. And then you push down so it clips in. Got kind of sticky. And then it will go in like that. And then you would stick this cover on. So after it's like that, it'll be in there obviously better, but I'm just showing you really quickly. So like that, and then screw that down. And then I'm gonna use my DVD drive on another computer, stick that in there, stick um, the, um, the, the SATA cable inside here, the power connector, and then run it straight off the, the DVD drive with Windows and that. And then after I finish, take it out and take my little solid state, my little M SATA, keep getting it mixed up. Take the little M SATA 120 gig, I think this is, I'm not even too sure. Should be a 120 gig hard drive and it's got a read speed of 550 and a write speed of 470. So. Let's hope we get them marks. And we've got what's this? Intel Centrino uh, Network N6300 network card. And uh, this is meant to be one of the best Wi Fi cards you can get for the NUC, Intel NUC. So that's what it is. I'm going to show you how to put it together quickly in a sec. If you look on my website, there'll be pictures of um, how to connect your little Wi-Fi cables as well, straight to it, which are num numbered here, one, two, and three. I've done close-ups, so you'll be able to see it better on the web page and follow it better as a guide. And then we've already seen, uh, I've got 100 um, megahertz speed and 16 gig of Vengeance, Corsair Vengeance RAM to go in the NUC. <laughs> and if you have a look at my website you'll see closer images of that and what else have we got right we have got oh yeah uh, hang on I'll be back in one second I need to get my cable and I'm back uh, needed a C5 cable uh, C5 clover cable or something like that. I can't remember what it's called but yeah, I've got a nice long one, uh, so I could uh, obviously stretch it as far as I can. So you need this cable, and if you look on my website, you will see exactly what you need. There will be step-to-step -step guide of how to install this. Now I'm going to show you right now how to install this stuff. So I'll be back in two secs. 
Right, so we've got the nut here. I've already pre assembled it, so we'll take this plastic coating off. Oh, God. I'm making a mockery of that. That's all my days. There we go. So that's off. This is a little cool i3 machine. It's going to be a little powerhouse, this is. We're going to do some bench testing and do a little stress test and see what it's like. But we've already seen this stuff in the other video. So, the first video, you'll see all of this. But I'm just going to show you quickly how to install it. Come out. Alright, here we go. So, you take the bottom off. I've already screwed the, uh, the four screws underneath the bottom. Might need to undo it again. Right, that's the four screws undone. I still can't get it out. There we go. Let's take the bottom off. Right, so what we do, we're going to install the Corsair Vengeance memory first. So, what you do, you stick it in here, first slot. And the wrong way around, sorry. There you go. So you stick it in at an angle. And you wiggle it about a little bit till you get it in nicely there. And you just clip it down. And the same goes for this slot here at the top. And I can't see where it is. And you get it here, wiggle it about there. You can make sure it's in nice and firm. Then slot it down. And then we get the Wi-Fi card, if you're using a Wi-Fi card, I don't need to use a Wi-Fi card but I am going to, because it's going to go straight into my bedroom because I've got um, a gigabit in infinite cable uh, slot there but I'm using a Wi-Fi card so I'm going to stick this in here so this goes into this slot here before the hard drive, so you do exactly the same what you've done with the memory and you push down there, but the only thing is I've got to have to screw this down so I'm going to be very careful, screw this down. And that is that down. And then we're going to connect the black cable. We're going to connect the black cable into number one. And when you look on my website, you'll be able to see this very closely and clearly where you need to connect this to. So it looks like a little... Um, you know like what you get with a TV aerial that's what that does it looks like that that little small bit there so we just clip that down here it's quite fiddly and you just got to be careful we don't break it so that's clipped down there and then we do the white one and that goes on number two so I'm going to clip this down there <laughs> got a bit of fluff there don't want that come out Right, I've got rid of that, so we're going to clip this down. And that's that. That's all it is. That is done. So you connect the black cable to number one and the white cable to number two. Alright, now you get your little MSATA hard drive. Careful with that. And you make sure you move these cables out of the way a little bit better. And then we're just going to slot this into that slot at the top here, if you can see that. Same thing, at an angle, slot it down, press down and then you screw it in. Now, find the screw, the screw is going to go here. So, I'm going to be very careful again. Start screwing down, and that is that. That is all it takes to do that. So, that is a complete Intel NUC. Obviously, you get your cable. Oh, hang on. This is the complete version now. <laughs> connect your C5 lead inside here, and then connect it straight to the back to give it power. 
Then you connect your HDMI cable into the back, your USB connector for your keyboard and mouse, or if you're doing just your infinite cable, you just use a gigabit infinite cable, stick it in there. And that is it, really. And then you obviously, obviously before all of that, connecting it all together, you really want to put your top back on first. <laughs> so, and that's it. So if you like my videos, you thought this was helpful, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Maxed Out PC TV. See ya.